Hey everybody, it's George Foshan, Call Realty, Best Palos Verdes Homes, and uh, guess what? Two months of 2024 are gone in a flash. So uh, what's happening with the real estate market for the South Bay, Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Beach, Redondo Beach, Torrance, San Pedro, Palos Verdes Peninsula? What's going on in the marketplace? So let's take a look at the numbers. Go to Palos Verdes Homes Best com palos Verdes homes best.com and click on blog and the article that you're looking for is this one right here palos Verdes real estate trends and we we go over more than just palos Verdes, but that's what the title that's what the article is 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 titled so let's click on that uh first thing that you'll notice this video is going to be replaced by the one i'm doing right now and uh, let's uh, kind of go through some of the charts. I find this chart to be really, really interesting. What I did here and what I have done for the last, oh my God, since the early 90s, is I take two equal periods of time. So, for example, in this case, what was the average sale price of property sold in the South Bay in February 2024? And what was the average sale price of property sold in um, February of 2023? So same month, separated by a year, and calculated the differential of, of that. And I've been tracking that differential since the early 90s. And this is a real good indicator of how the market is doing. This is the zero line right here. So when the market absolutely was in a debacle, in 2008, we see that those that differential just tanked. I mean, just tanked. Uh, for a while there, uh, prices were over 400,000 less than the same period last year, the, the previous year. So that was just obviously a horrible time. And as you can see, while the numbers did go negative a couple of times over the last you know, 30 years, it didn't do so often. Most of the time it was in positive territory. Now, there were times when it, it, it was sale prices were less than the previous year, as we see here, you know, the, the trend was down and it only got negative for a brief period of time, but we're back in positive territory. If you could see this, arrow right here, these guide arrows, you click that and it'll take you to the next chart. And this is the same differential for Palos Verdes Estates. And then we go into some supply demand numbers. What I'm finding, and by the way, the, the blue is for a two month period of time, January and February in this case, the green is for a six month period of time. And I'm calculating here the ratio of uh, pending sales to new listings, demand pending sales to supply new listings. And um, there's some interesting conclusions that I'm drawing here. For the South Bay, the market has actually improved in the last two months versus the previous uh, six months. and has weakened a bit for Palos Verdes Estates. I go over other numbers here as well. Uh, prices for the Palos Verdes Peninsula are up a little over 7%. Dollar per square foot is up a little over 6%. Sale volume is up almost 13%. And then there are other supply demand numbers that you can get for various sections of the South Bay. When you scroll down to the tables, a lot more information here. This is the raw data from which I'm generating these charts. And what I would encourage you to do is give me a call. Uh, we, you could call me here or text me here, and we'll set up an appointment to go deeper into these numbers as to how to create strategy, how to create strategy, whether you're a buyer or seller, so you don't lose money. Supply and demand numbers will help you. And we've got to get a real good handle on that so that 
your interests are maximized. So give me a call. Let's set up a time. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon. Bye for now.